Hello, Madison West Rocketry. Welcome to your third SolidWorks tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about a lot of new features. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start out by making a transition. And there are two ways you can do this. The first way is by using Revolve and then sketching out half the shape of the transition and revolving it around it. The second way is to create two circles and use a loft. And I'm going to use that way because it will show you guys how to use a loft. So we're going to hit circle, we're going to select the front plane, we're going to draw out, and click down. Then we're going to hit the check mark on the circle and smart dimension it to 2.2 inches. We're going to have our transition go from 2.2 to 2.6 inches. And then hit the check mark. And then go down to this um, panel on the left side here and click the sketch and click this stoplight at the top of the screen and this will um, take us out of that sketch. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to insert a plane um, a little bit above this circle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to features. Um, we're going to highlight this front plane, click on it, go over to reference geometry and click plane wait for it to load. Okay, good. And it's going to go the other direction. And we'll insert this plane, how about two inches above that original circle. And hit the check mark. And then we're going to want to draw another circle on the plane. And it should automatically have the plane as the plane we're sketching on. Make it a little bit bigger. Hit the check mark smart dimension it to 2.6 inches and hit enter now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go select this sketch the second sketch sketch 2 and hit the stoplight again so we're going to exit that sketch now what we're going to want to do is what's called the loft so go over to features lofted boss base and then select this is the first profile and this is the second profile and now you see that has like a weird um, kind of funnel type um, shape to it so what we're going to want to do to get rid of that is you see these little, two little green circles we're going to want to drag them so they're right on top of each other and there we go that's a nice even transition and then hit the check mark and that's our transition. Now we're going to need to add shoulders to this. So click on this plane, hit sketch, do the circle like we normally do. Drag it out. Smart dimension it to 2.55 inches. I'm going through this pretty fast, you guys, so that um, we have time for other stuff in this tutorial. Go to features, extrude boss base, make it an inch, check. Now do the bottom one. This uh, this shoulder is going to have to be a little bit smaller than the last shoulder because it's a transition. Check mark, smart dimension it to 2.15 inches. Check features, extrude boss base, an inch. Good. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to shell this because this is a lot of plastic and maybe it'd be nice to put something like a parachute inside of the transition. So we're going to want to hit the shell feature, select the top plane and the bottom plane, make the thickness 0.5 inches or 0.05 inches, and hit check. Now we have our transition. The next thing we're going to want to do is we might want to make this transition a little bit lighter. So the way that we're going to do that is we are going to cut holes in the shoulders. So you're going to want to go over to this left hand side again and we're going to want to insert another plane. So let's do the top plane. You click on the top plane then you go over to reference geometry and you hit plane. This inserts a plane out from where the top plane is. And instead of two inches this time, let's bring it down so that it gets really close to the surface and so I had that 1.4 inches and hit check. 
now we're going to want to create a sketch on that plane. So hit sketch, um, circle, and we're going to want to make it directly up from the origin. And just click down once you see this dotted line coming up and draw out a little circle. And then hit the check mark. Smart dimension, we're going to have two smart dimensions. So smart dimension, the circle, and we're going to make this a half inch in diameter. And then smart dimension it from the origin and make it 2.5 inches. And the reason we're doing 2.5 is that's going to put us directly in the middle of our shoulder. Because if you think about it, it's two inches and then the shoulder is one inch and we want to get halfway into that one inch, so 2.5 inches. Hit the check mark, go over to features, extrude cut, and we're going to cut through that wall of the shoulder. Hit the check mark. Now this is only one hole, so that's not very useful. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this top of the features menu, um, see where it says linear pattern, click on the drop down menu and hit circular pattern, and then when it says features to pattern, have this cut extrude, and then when it says parameters, you want to do it around one of these circles. And then we're going to want to change the amount it's being rotated a little bit, so let's make this 30 degrees, and let's get it so that we go all the way around the circle. So bring it up to 12 of them, and then hit the check mark. And now we have a bunch of holes in the shoulder. Now we're going to do the same thing for the bottom part of this shoulder. So select plane 2 again, go over to sketch, sketch a circle, directly below the origin, and we'll make the circle a half inch again, so 0.5 inches, and we'll make it a half inch from the origin because the um, the shoulder is an inch and it's not letting me select the origin so if it doesn't let you select the origin then just click on this edge and it'll do the um, dimension from the middle of the circle to this edge make it 0.5 inches the check mark go over to features it's basically doing the exact same thing that we just did Hit the check mark again um, pattern it around one of these and make it 30 degrees. Hit the check mark. Good. So now we have this weird looking transition. And I think that's all we're going to do for today. So I can find something else that I might want to teach you guys. Nope, that's it. Um, so today we learned about the lofted boss base, which is basically um, creating material between two profiles or two sketches and you can either do it between two sketches by creating a sketch and then hitting the stoplight and creating another sketch and then hitting the stoplight or you can make two faces like actual material so you can extrude those two circles and then click both of those faces and it will also do the same thing and boundary bra space is similar and on my next lesson, I think I'm going to go over swept up spaces and swept cuts. And we actually don't have much more to do. Maybe helixes and curves. All right. Um, thanks, guys.